it's interesting that the language coming out of the LGBT community in Houston is all Black Lives Matter, but we introduced that into the discourse. We simply understand what's at the root. We understand the context of the Black homosexual because a Black homosexual is not natural. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that Sodom and Gomorrah, they were not white. They were black. Who we have been documenting is homosexual by nature. The white man is a natural homosexual. Which brings me to the second point, either you're totally ignorant of our position on our black LGBTQ family, or you are deliberately misrepresenting our position. There are those in the black so-called conscious community that is hateful of the black LGBTQ whose rhetoric could be considered violent and threatening to the black LGBTQ community. The irony is they were at the Shape Center, but you didn't protest them. Those whose very logo highlights violence to black LGBTQ. You hosted them at your city, in your city, at your venue, but you didn't protest them. We in the nation of Islam are in fact at odds with those whom you failed to protest, whose Rhetoric is violent against you. They have been at odds with us because we insist that your life matters. It's interesting that the language coming out of the LGBT community in Houston is all Black Lives Matter, but we introduced that into the discourse. When you were pleading with white folks that Black Lives Matter, and white folks were rebuffing you with all lives matter, it was we, the Nation of Islam, who introduced into the public discourse all black lives matter. And when we introduced it, we introduced it specifically in defense of the sacredness of the life of the black LGBTQ because the Honorable Brother Minister Louis Farrakhan values your life because he values all black life. Well, we in the nation of Islam, we don't fear the homosexual, nor do we hate the homosexual. We simply understand what's at the root. We understand the context of the black homosexual because the black homosexual is not natural though it is the case that there were individual cases of black homosexuality in Africa though Africa culturally rejected and reject homosexuality. There were indeed 
even communities of black homosexuals before the white man. I just learned from my brother, student minister, Ishmael Muhammad, the son of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, his dear mother, the late mother Tynetta Muhammad, said from her husband, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, that the honorable Elijah Muhammad said that Sodom and Gomorrah, they were not white. They were black. And that is very, very important. Why? Because God so was so angered with those blacks of Sodom and Gomorrah that he destroyed the whole city, both of them, such that not a blade grows in Sodom and Gomorrah today. God's wrath was so hot against that display of black homosexuality that he wiped out both cities. Now contrast that with white folks who we have been documenting is homosexual by nature. The white man is a natural homosexual. And, and from the beginning of their recorded history to till today, homosexuality was an accepted and preferred practice such that God, he sent prophets to them with scriptures and laws and telling them, you know, don't do that. With white folks, he sends prophets to try to correct their behavior, give them a law to straighten them up and tell them, you know, don't do that. And if you are pious enough that you will heed these warnings and obey the law, then even though your people were created to be destroyed, if you resisted your nature and obeyed this, these laws, you can, can stay a day or two longer in the hereafter. So God treats white homosexuality with prophets and laws and enticements for white folks to obey the law. And if they obey the law and desist in that or from that behavior, that there would be a benefit for them. They will stick around a day or two longer in the hereafter. But with black folks who engage in that behavior, God totally wiped them off the face of the earth because it is not natural for us, even though it presented itself occasionally in our history because we have a long history of over 76 trillion physical years. And in that duration, everything that the white man does of evil, we have done it. The difference is when we did it, they were anomalies, cultural anomalies. But when white folks do it, they are cultural norms.